Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. Business owners in search of new or additional office space may want to check out Kearney Point, where renovation of an old industrial site is creating some unique options. Our Sherry Carabin joins us now with details. Sherry. Thanks, Larry. Once one of the nation's most innovative shipbuilding facilities during World Wars I and II, the 130-acre industrial site known as Kearney Point is now being transformed into a modern green workplace. It's really exciting. Uh, you're seeing the change happen month to month. Kearney Mayor Alberto Santos is talking about the redevelopment of Kearney Point. Located along the Hackensack River in South Kearney, the multi-phase project will transform the site's historic shipmaking buildings into office and co-working spaces for small and medium-sized businesses, while adding over 15 acres of new publicly accessible park and open spaces. It's a cultural legacy in the community. It's been an anchor and we're trying to evolve it as that anchor for the next, you know, 100 years. First operational in 1917, the 130-acre shipbuilding complex was designed as a complete facility with its own on-site power plant, steel plate mill, wood joining shops, and barracks. During World War II, it churned out hundreds of vessels and employed more than 35,000 people. Hugo New Corporation acquired the site in the early 1960s when it was used for ship dismantling, continuing that operation and expanding into other recycling sectors. By the time hurricanes Sandy devastated Kearney Point in 2012, it primarily functioned as a warehouse distribution facility with just 400 to 500 workers. With Sandy, we had an opportunity to really rethink this site. So we're really focused on the environment and restoring it, creating more biodiversity, returning it as much as possible back to its original state, yet also creating an economic engine for this, for this area. Today the project, which incorporates best practice green infrastructure, is well underway. The recently renovated Building 78 is now leasing space to over 200 businesses, including the educational technology company Pico Turbine International. We love the environment. It's clean, it's simple, you can tell there's a lot of professionals, there's a lot of small companies with the same kind of mindset, growth mindset, I would put it as, and we're all on the same page. Across the street, Building 197 is also occupied with three light manufacturing and processing tenants, and construction is continuing on the annex at Building 78. This adds a very interesting mix to the South Kearney Industrial Peninsula by focusing on small and medium-sized businesses that tend to be more labor-intensive. Um, and also some uh, businesses that are, are part of the, the new e economy, which do most of their sales online. Those who do set up shop at Kearney Point won't have to worry about flooding since developers are implementing measures to combat the problem. The entire site is being raised and a living shoreline created along the one-mile Hackensack River frontage, which will serve as a buffer against storm surge. Also part of the plan, turning Hackensack Avenue into a high-performance green street for motorists, cyclists, and pedestrians, an endeavor for which a $3 million federal grant has been secured. It needs to be regraded, it needs to be raised and elevated, and our interest is to do that in, uh, with regards to in improving, strengthening resiliency. As this plan progresses and the open space is added and the, uh, and the waterfront access is added, I think that will also be a, a very big significant change in this peninsula. The redevelopment of Kearney Point will continue over the next decade. When all is said and done, it will contain multiple buildings. Reporting from Kearney, this is Sherry Carabin for Jersey Matters. All right, thanks a lot, Sherry. Still to come on Jersey Matters, sometimes when you see past a person's disability, you'll find brilliance. We'll explain when Jersey Matters continues.